it's Gunkle Toby here at the Dennis Arvino Equality Center. And we know that during this time when you're having to stay home, we want to give you some things to help you um, think about other stuff. And so we've decided story time. And so one of the things we want to make sure in the story time that we remind you of is make sure if you are going to have a cough or a sneeze that you use a napkin, a Kleenex, or something to cover your cough or cough into your sleeve. Also, wash your hands. It's a good practice to wash your hands every 30 minutes with lots of soapy water and do your best to sing through Happy Birthday twice while you're singing and you're washing your hands with lots of soapy water. And also, it's probably best that we just wave at each other, blow kisses, do happy hugs and things like that during this time as we practice what we call social distancing. So we wanted to take this time today to give you maybe a story time to help you think about something else. And so here I have uh, my fairy backpack and let me see what my book is today. This is my tribute to anime, Gunkle Toby's tribute to anime. Notice I've got my little uh, uh, man buns up there. I'm very excited about this um, particular uh, wardrobe and makeup design. So let's see what book we're reading today. Well, guess what? It's Entango Makes Three. It's about penguins. I love penguins. I'm kind of shaped like a penguin, and so I really like the story of penguins. It's written by Justin Richardson and Peter Parnell, and it's illustrated by Henry Cole. Let's see what it has to say. Entango Makes Three. For Lita, for Lucy, Jane, and for Maddie and Ben, JR, and PP, to Nate and Penguin Lovers Everywhere, HC. So that's the dedication. With special thanks to several people, and let's see what the story tells us. In the middle of New York City, there's a great big park. Kind of like a big park like we have like the gathering place here in Tulsa. But it's called Central Park, and children love to play there. It has a toy boat pond where they can sell their boats. It has a carousel to ride on in the summer and an ice rink to skate on in the winter. I know probably you've been to New York before, New York City, and maybe you've saw these places. See these children are skating and they're, they're sailing their boats. Best of all, it has a, it its very own zoo, just like we have here in Tulsa. We have the Tulsa Zoo. Every day, families of all kinds go to visit the animals that live there. But children and their parents aren't the only families at the zoo. The animals make families of their own. There are red panda bear families with mothers and fathers and furry red panda bear cubs. There are monkey dads and monkey moms raising noisy monkey babies. There are toad families and toucan families and cotton top uh, tamarind families. Not even sure what that is, but that's what kind of families we have at the New York City Zoo. And maybe we have some of those same families at the zoo here in Tulsa. And the penguin house, there are penguin families. Every year at the very same time, the girl penguins start noticing the boy penguins and the boy penguins start noticing the girls. When the right girl and the right boy find each other, they become a couple. Two penguins in the penguin house were a little different. One was named Roy and the other was named Silo. Roy and Silo were both boys, but they did everything together. They bowed to each other and they walked together and they sang to each other and they swam together. Wherever Roy went, Silo went also. They didn't spend much time with the girl penguins and the girl penguins didn't spend much time with them. Instead, Roy and Silo wound their necks around each other and their keeper, Mr. Gramaze, noticed the two penguins and thought to himself, they must be in love. Roy and Silo watched how the other penguins made a home. So they built a nest of stones for themselves. Every night, <clears throat> Roy and Silo slept there together just like the other penguin couples. And every morning, Roy and Silo woke up together. But one day, Roy and Silo saw that the other couples could do something they could not. The mama penguin would lay an egg she and the papa penguin would take turns keeping the egg warm until finally it would hatch. And then there would be a baby penguin. 
Roy and Silo had no egg to sit on and to keep warm. They had no baby chick to feed and cuddle and love. Their, ni their nest was very nice, uh, but it was a little empty. One day, Roy found something that looked like what the other penguins were hatching, and he brought it to their nest. It was just a rock. But Silo carefully sat on it, and he sat, uh, and sat, and when Silo got sleepy, he slept. And when Silo was done sleeping and sitting, he swam and Roy sat. Day after day, Silo and Roy sat on the rock. But nothing happened. Then Mr. Gramazay got an idea. He found an egg that needed to be cared for, and he brought it to Roy and Silo's nest. And Roy and Silo just knew what to do. They moved the egg to the center of their nest. Every day they turned it so each side stayed warm. Some days Roy sat while Silo went and got food. Other days it was Silo's turn to take care of their egg. I'm telling you, sitting on an egg, it takes a uh, group effort because uh, sometimes it makes your little bottom sore sitting on top of that egg, so it's nice to get be able to take a break. They sat in the morning and they sat at night. They sat through lunchtime and swam time and supper. They sat at the beginning of the month and they sat at the end of the month and they sat all of the days in between. Until one day they heard a sound coming from inside their egg. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 it said. Roy and Silo called back. Squawk, 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 beep, beep, surrounded the Answered the little egg. And here we can see, see how it's cracking open. First it's just a little bit of crack, then it's a bigger crack. Kind of reminds me of Jurassic Park, to be honest, with the way these eggs are cracking open. Suddenly a tiny hole appeared in the eggshell, and then, crack open, out came their very own baby. She had a fuzzy white feathers and a funny black beak, and now Roy and Silo were fathers. We'll call her Tango, Mr. Gramazay decided, because it takes two to make a tango. And you know what a tango is, it's a dance. Have you ever danced a tango with somebody? We ought to have that here at the Equality Center tango class. Roy, Roy and Silo set tango, uh, taught sang, tango how to sing for them when she was hungry, and they fed her uh, from their beaks. They snuggled her in their nest at night. Tango was very happy and the first penguin in the zoo to have two daddies. Soon Tango grew up and grew strong enough to leave the nest and Roy and Silo took her for a swim just like all the other penguin families do. And all the children who came to the zoo could see Tango and her two fathers playing in the penguin house with the other penguins. Hooray Roy! Hooray Silo! Welcome Tango! They cheered. Everybody was happy. At night the three penguins returned to their nest. There they snuggled together and like all the other penguins in the penguin house and all the other animals in the zoo and all the other families in the big city around them, they went to sleep. Just like every other family in that big old city. Everybody does it pretty much the same way. They eat, they play, they do work, they share time together and they go to bed and they sleep and they start all over the next day. Next day. Well, that was really enjoyable, and I want to just remind you, you have a good, safe time as you kind of um, spend this time at home, and we wish you the best, and we'll see you tomorrow. Gunkle Toby loves you.